Which is better, absolutely nothing or complete randomness? I've created the stupidest bot you can imagine that only knows how to do completely random inputs with no logic at all. Its name? Randy. And today Randy will be facing off against Luigi doing nothing once again to see which is better in the brand new Mario Party game. They'll be playing through every mini game and whoever gets a better score or survives longer in each one gets a point. The competitor with the most points at the very end will be crowned the ultimate winner. So without further ado, let's hop right into the first Super Mario Party Jamboree mini game, Lumber Tumble. All right, I've been looking forward to this for a while now. Let's see how this goes. And there goes Randy. Okay. First game goes to Luigi. Oh yeah. Next up, we've got Big Top Quiz. And I hope you guys are paying attention. Just uh, go ahead and choose an answer. Um, This one's a tie. Time to show off those photography skills now. In this one, you've got to try to match the picture in the middle. So let's see what you got, Randy. Um... Yeah, this one's also going to be a tie. Scarousel is super simple. All you have to do is make sure you don't get uh, electrocuted. Oh, yeah. OK, Randy, now Luigi isn't going to be collecting any flags here. So all you have to do to win is run over one of them. Just a single flag will do it. All right, there's not too many left, but you still got this, Randy. There's even an arrow pointing you directly towards them. There we go. Randy's on the board. Yeah. On to Sandwiched, where the goal of the game is to um, not get squished by a sandwich. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this one's going to be tough for Luigi since you actually need to make a selection to make it across the lava here. That's an easy win for Randy. Lightwave battle is also a difficult one for Luigi because you actually need to jump over these circles. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think Randy got that memo. Oh yeah. All right, guys. So for this one, you need to choose the picture behind the thwomp that's different from the rest. So you might want to wait a bit before guessing, Randy. Okay, let's try that again and maybe wait just a few extra seconds before guessing this time. Okay, never mind. Turns out Randy is actually insane at this game. Yeah. Over to Cold Front, where you have to avoid being gusted off the. Okay, that works too. Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this one is uh, not gonna end well. Oh yeah. Domination should be an easy win for Randy, though. All he needs to do is hit A once, just a single time. Okay, never mind. Time for some basketball. Um, Randy, you do know that you need to actually throw the ball, right? Okay, I guess he just really loves this ball, so that's another tie. Next up is Granite Getaway. And it doesn't look like Randy is going to be starring in the next Indiana Jones movie. Oh yeah. Now at this point, we've got a handful of motion control games that require a Joy-Con. But since Randy only knows how to mash buttons and run around like a chicken with his head cut off, he never quite learned how to use motion controls. So I'm going to have to call all of these games ties and move on to Gatekeepers. Luigi's been off to a really good start overall, but he's dealing with some decision paralysis in this one. And that is definitely not a problem for Randy. Yeah. All right, so in this one, you guys need to let go of the sled at the perfect time so you don't fall off the end. Okay, Randy letting go a bit early there. Yeah, this isn't gonna end well for Luigi. Over to Rinks to Riches, where unfortunately for Luigi, uh, sitting still inside of a giant boot isn't the key to getting rich. Neither is getting pushed off of a tall tree over and over. So that's another win for Randy. On to Treasure Divers, where it looks like both Luigi and Randy are a little afraid of diving underwater here. And honestly, I don't blame them. This one's a tie. Let's see if they can conquer their fear of heights instead by placing them thousands of feet in the sky. 
Okay, well, um, that's one way of facing your fears. Next up is Stamp Out, where Randy is really making sure he's got that top left corner locked up. I'm not sure about that strategy, but it's definitely going to be enough to beat Luigi. Over to Trample Line, where Randy appears to be going for the classic um, jumping on Luigi's head strat. Doesn't look like it worked out for him though. Oh yeah. All right, onto the 1v3 games now with Sunset Standoff. For each of these, Randy and Luigi will both get a chance at being the solo and in the group of three. If they both win as the solo, then they'll each get a point. And if they both lose as the solo, like in this case, then neither gets a point. Okay, onto Cookie Cutters, where there appears to be a holdup on the assembly line here. Randy, meanwhile, doesn't seem to understand what shapes are, but it's still good enough to win this one. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know how Luigi got in this UFO, but it doesn't look like he's going to be winning this one. Luckily for him, though, Randy seems to be more focused on building a giant Lego fort, so this one's a tie. Lost and Pound should be a good one for Randy. He's so unpredictable that no one should be able to guess where he is. Okay, I guess not. Now, Luigi is just gonna hide in the same place every single time, so there's no way he wins this. Okay, this game makes no sense. Oh yeah. Over to On Again, Off Again, where it doesn't really matter whether or not it's on or off especially against these guys. Oh, yeah. Next up, we've got Bruiser Bash. And whoa, Randy, you're not supposed to be trying to punch the crowd. Okay, I guess this one's a tie. On to Cage Catch, where Luigi was able to lead his team to victory by um, expertly directing them to catch Randy. On the flip side, Randy seems to be more focused on his stretching routine, so that's a win for Luigi. Oh yeah. That brings us to blame it on the crane. And yeah, it looks like Luigi is far too evasive for Randy to be able to catch him here. Okay, this is perfect. Randy is teaming up with a bunch of monkeys, so they should all be in sync here. All right, uh, never mind. Maybe Luigi will fare better. Finish. Wow, okay. Um, I guess he's the true king of the monkeys. Oh, yeah. On to Squeaky Shakedown, where it looks like Randy believes he's uh, doing some construction work up here or something. So this one's going to be a tie. Finish. Over to the 2v2 games now, starting with Rocky Rope Race. The key to this one is to grab onto these little ledges and hold onto them so your partner can swing to the next one. Randy's definitely got the first part down, just not the second part. Next up, we've got Pickin' Produce, and let's see if Randy has some basic picture comprehension skills. Okay, he's got an apple. Just go ahead and place that da- nope, not there. Okay, I guess everyone wins this one. Oh yeah! Alright, so the goal for this one is to cut these steaks perfectly in half. Both Randy and Luigi are doing pretty good so far. Just one more steak to cut through and... Okay, I'm no mathematician, but that does not look like half to me. Oh yeah! This one is definitely impossible for Luigi since you need to choose the correct shape and move it towards the middle. It's technically possible for Randy to do this, but I think he mostly just enjoys spinning this wheel. One more round, but this one should be a tie, I imagine. Okay, never mind. Uh, Randy is actually insane. All right, Randy, this one is very simple. All you have to do is pick up the same card that Goomba is holding up over there. See, he's even showing you where the other one is. Okay, nice try. Now, Randy, don't panic, but there is a giant bomb behind you that is about to explode. Just try to be calm like Luigi over there. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, it looks like Luigi isn't going to be shooting any platforms for Toad down there, so this one is all you, Randy. All you need to do is run and jump right. Okay, not quite. Yeah, this one's a tie. 
Next up is Two Axis Taxi. And since Luigi is busy studying the racetrack, Randy's got another clear advantage here. Unfortunately for Team Randy though, it looks like he's more focused on smashing into these spiky Pop-Tart guys than actually winning the race. So this one's another tie. All right, there's a lot of high level strategy going on here that's honestly a bit hard for me to follow. Hmm, okay, maybe Randy's just planning ahead for the next round or something? Well, at this point, I think Randy might actually just enjoy being exploded. This one's a win for Luigi. Oh yeah. Time for the dual mini games now, starting with an intense showdown of Slappy Go Round. Just one Randy ground pound will win it for him, and there it is. Yeah. All right, let's see who's better at bowling now. Randy choosing to start from the right side, while Luigi, of course, just letting it rip from the middle. And oh, wow, Randy almost gets a strike. Guess that settles that. Now this one should be another win for Randy. He's got a whole 30 seconds to make his way up past these fuzzies while Luigi is stuck on the ground. All right, let's see how far he made it. Okay, well, that's still good enough. The goal of this mini game is to make your way through all of these marbles to reach the end. But I think Randy's just having fun playing around in here. Uh, Randy, I don't think punching the marbles is helping. Whoa, neither is punching Luigi. That's just rude. Onto the showdown mini games now, starting with Mario's 3 Pete. This is a series of three separate classic mini games Leaf Leap, Bumper Balls, and Shy Guy Says. Leaf Leap is an easy win for Randy, but let's see how Bumper Balls goes. All right, Randy not immediately rolling off. That's okay, never mind. Which means this comes down to Shy Guy Says. Now, Randy, all you need to do is just get one flag correct and you win this one. Okay, I guess it's a tie. Next up, we've got Luigi Rescue Operation. I'm not sure why he needs to be rescued. He looks okay to me, but uh, whatever Randy is doing over there doesn't seem to be helping. This one is also a tie. Over to Peach's Day Off, or maybe I should call this Luigi's Day Off because Randy absolutely smoked him in this one, winning by 29 points. Yeah. So it turns out most of these showdown mini games actually require you to do something. Luigi did get one coin at least in this one, but unfortunately for him, that was not enough to beat Randy. Yeah. Uh, Randy, you know you don't have to answer immediately for all of these questions, right? Okay, well, um, I guess you know what you're doing. Yeah. All right, Waluigi's Pinball Arcade. Randy should be good at this one. Okay, well, that's still good enough to beat Luigi. Yeah. Time for a race, here we go. Oh, uh, Randy, that's the wrong way. All right, uh, switching strategies now to pushing Luigi backwards. I like the creativity. Okay, so about three minutes have passed and we've got a nail biter here. Randy has a slim lead over Luigi, but can he hold him off? It's looking like he will. Oh. Actually, I guess that's a tie. Okay guys, time to show off those musical skills. Here we go. Come on, Randy, you're losing to someone with no hands, but you got this. There you go. For the final showdown minigame, we've got Junior's Jauntlet. And it looks like Randy and Luigi both need to work on their reading comprehension skills. Oh, okay, there we go. And with that one, Luigi takes the lead. Whoa, Randy, don't be a sore loser. All right, final round, Randy needs to survive here to tie it up. Wow, okay, that was actually pretty clever, but still not quite enough to win. Oh yeah. Over to the Kaboom Squad minigames now, starting with Juice Works. And it appears that Randy isn't very good at um milking apples. Also, can we talk about what Koopa is doing? He's looking a bit like Randy over there. Luigi, meanwhile, got assigned the role of box inspector, and it looks like he did a great job because his team did way better than Randy's. Oh yeah. But you know what Randy is better at? Volleyball. Um, come on, Randy, you just need to hit one of them. There we go. Yeah. 
onto Ballistic Bingo, where you have to shoot cannonballs at these targets. Uh, Randy, the targets are over there by the ship. Okay, still a very respectable 99 points for Team Randy. Let's see how Team Luigi does. Wow, um, good work, Luigi. Oh yeah. Here's a lesson for you guys. If you find yourself in a situation with a bunch of bombs walking towards you, don't just pick them up and hold them over your head. See, Luigi knows to stay away. Another win for Team Luigi. Oh yeah. Now the key to these eight player mini games is that everyone on the team cooperates and distributes the tasks evenly so that everyone is pulling their weight and doing their fair share. In this case, Luigi did a better job of staying out of the way. Oh yeah. All right, Randy, Luigi's on a bit of a streak here, but all you have to do in this one is just hit the button to match the item with your team. Okay, not quite. Come on, you got this, you got this. There you go. Okay, so Randy definitely doesn't know how to count, but that doesn't matter because eventually he'll swap enough cards until he gets the correct one randomly. The same cannot be said about Luigi. Next up, we've got Ski Daddle. Let's see how Randy does with this one. Oh, Randy, are you okay? I think he's being attacked by a swarm of bees. Um, anyways, this one is a tie. All right, now this one is super simple. All you have to do is just turn your head the same direction as the arrow. Well, I guess that's actually pretty complicated for these two, but Randy was able to accidentally look the correct way enough times to win this one. Over to Puzzle Pandemonium, where it looks like Randy is taking a page out of Luigi's book by doing nothing while his teammates complete these puzzles. Oh, never mind. I guess he wants to help out now. Hmm. Well, this puzzle isn't being completed. Doing nothing is definitely better for this one. Oh, yeah. All right, onto the Koopathalon minigames now, starting with Noggin Knock. Since this one requires actions, all Randy has to do is get one coin to win. Just one coin. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Same thing with Brick Breaker. Luigi can't get any coins by just holding on to this platform. Yeah. Next up, we've got Croissant Burning Simulator. All Randy needs to do is take out one perfectly cooked croissant. But I think he might actually enjoy watching these Goombas burn. Oh, except for that one, I guess. Turns out most of these Koopathlon games also require you to actually do something. Randy collected plenty of coins in Spike's Gambit, poked enough plushies in Down the Hatch, and after flying around for a bit, he eventually accidentally shot himself into some coins in Sky High Cannons. That puts Randy at a whopping 8 point lead. But now we've got lane change, and Randy's out here dodging coins like his life depends on it. I think he might also enjoy being shocked by these electric guys. Luigi picks up a much needed W. Oh yeah. In Coin Conveyor, the goal is to make rows and columns of coins using these pieces on the side here. Randy did pick up a few of them, but decided they all belonged in the trash. So this one's a tie. Over to which door has more, where it looks like Randy and Luigi are both just enjoying spending time with these penguins. Oh, okay, Randy's ready to move on. And once he grabs some of these coins, that'll be a win for him. Okay, well, um, once he picks up a coin from this room, that'll be a win. Yeah. All right, that brings us to the Survive-a-thon minigames. For these, I'll be determining the winner by how long Randy and Luigi survive in each game. Whoever survives longer gets a point. Oh yeah. Let's see if they can survive more than a few seconds in Castle Hassle. Okay, uh, I think Randy got confused which direction he was supposed to run there. Oh yeah. Next up is Sleight of Shell. Time to find out who's better at not getting exploded by bombs. Okay, yeah, that checks out. Oh yeah. Luigi's stringing together some wins here. Let's see if he can pick up another in Fire Away. Hmm, I guess uh, Randy felt like trying out Luigi's strat for one game. Next up, we've got the floor is falling. But it looks like Randy's the one falling first. Oh yeah. 
All right, that brings us to the final five boss mini games, starting with Dragon Eel Slayers. With Luigi down four points, he'll have to win all five of these mini games to become the ultimate winner. Unfortunately for him though, you actually need to press A to get points in this one, which means that Randy just needs to throw one shell and that'll do it. And with that, Randy has once again proven that random is better. Oh. Um, well, with only four games left and a four point lead, Luigi will have to win all four of these games to tie it up, which means even a tie now will result in a Randy victory. And unless Luigi starts magically teleporting and ground pounding this big B, I think this time we can safely declare that random is better than nothing in Super Mario Party Jamboree. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more Randy videos, and I'll catch you in the next one.